Hi, Scott Bruder here. So I'm returning back with the audio uh, project board that uh, I received in. So taking a deeper look at why I wanted this project board and what kind of things I think it can do, uh, I figure I'll uh, take you uh, through all the details and the features. Uh, feel free to find me on my uh, YouTube page or scottb.ca and the links are all at the bottom. So the board we've got here today is a MY-H1650M underscore V2.0. So this is version 2.0 of the board. This, this is a, a little board that I wanted to, to get my hands on because what you can do is, you know, copy an MP3 file of your choosing onto an 8 megabyte storage space. Now granted, 8 megabytes isn't a lot of space, but you know, if you record your files properly, you could get, you know, I don't know, a half hour worth of music or even almost an hour worth of like talk, like an audio book. Like you want to make yourself a modern version of a Teddy Ruxpin where, you know, it reads, you know, by all means, this board is uh, going to be good for you. So the unit itself is powered by five volts DC, right? This is the same amount of power that comes in on like a USB port. Um, and has, you know, a tiny little, it's not the greatest, plastic little 8 ohm half watt speaker. Um, it has a single push button uh, to turn it on and off. But the board isn't limited to just that, right? The board itself has uh, some additional options that, you know, can change how the inputs work and how long the songs play, things like that. You can also put multiple tracks on there and loop them or have them randomly play. Uh, but out of the box, you know, it's a simple add five volts, install the music file of your choice, hit the button, it plays, hit it again, it stops. You know what? Let's take a look at that now. So what I have here is just uh, two leads from my five volt power supply. And to keep with color coding, I'm going to go black for ground and red for our positive. So the unit itself works just as so. Push the button. It plays the music. If you have multiple tracks, it'll play through each one of them. Of course, you know, the size limit is 8 megabytes, but at the end of it, it'll stop. Now, in its default setting, pushing the action button a second time stops it. That's perfect. Uh, load up whatever you want on there, you know, make great use of it. Taking a look deeper at the board, you know, gives us uh, some more options uh, that we can see. So there is an on-off switch. Uh, there is a potentiometer here, right? Just with a little tiny little screwdriver, you can increase and decrease the volume. Um, it has the USB port. This is a micro USB port, so you can load your files via micro USB. Uh, it doesn't come with a USB cable, but... You know, if you have had a phone uh, that wasn't an iPhone for the last four or five years, you probably have this cable. Um, now, what I'm going to show you is a couple things that, you know, make this board a little bit more powerful than one may think, is it has a couple terminals here uh, for a external battery. So you can get yourself a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery connect it up to these posts and play it from the battery. Now, I haven't looked too deeply into the circuitry on the board, but the documentation says, if I use the battery to power the unit, I can also use a USB connection to charge the battery. So that lets me uh, believe that there is some circuitry in here that will regulate a charge of a lithium ion battery. So, you know, it's reusable, it's rechargeable, you know, it's perfect like that. The switch itself is just a simple press button switch, but it's only controlling just two wires with a simple short circuit. What we could do with this is we could put any number of switches on there, right? We have a switch that detects when, you know, it's open or when it's closed. Uh, you can have, you know, different types of, uh, of switches, you know, you can, anything your mind could uh, dream up. One of the uh, items I thought was, you know, maybe I put this in a drawer and when someone opens the drawer, it triggers a switch and starts playing. And of course, you know, a tiny little squawk box speaker is, it's okay. Uh, my question I asked myself is, could it drive a, something bigger? Like, could it be used to, on a, something like a 8 ohm or a 6 ohm uh, speaker? 
This one here is a 6 ohm Sony speaker. That was part of a mini system. Well, let's see. I'm going to take the audio board here, and right now I'm going to just clap on the Sony speaker and, you know, see if the board, you know, continues to function or if it pulls too much and shorts it out. So let's try. Now I've taped the one lead, so I should be able to bite it on to the contact points on the bottom. Of course, there's the speaker vibrating. Oh. That makes it a lot more progress. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this potentiometer and see if I can just turn it up. See how loud it gets. There's a little bit of noise, but man, using an external speaker sounds great. Push it again to stop it. So you can see that this little project board has a lot of useful features. You know, with five volts of power or, you know, an external battery, we can do a lot of fun things. If you have any comments or questions, you know, please look me up in the comments below. I would love to have uh, extra ideas uh, from people that may be seeing this on what this board could be used for. Um, you know, I've got uh, a few of them and I'm planning on trying different things. I'll make tiny little videos moving forward, but I think uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in the comments. Thank you.